Hi everyone, this is week one of Journey to Pro. I am Alan and this week we focused on faces, specifically front views. This is one of the most difficult views in my opinion, just because of everything that's going on with the symmetry and the structure of the face. What you're seeing me do is a study of Silica from SAO. I'm gonna start by tracing over her and then by actually drawing her next to the original. So this is my way of doing the study. I want to understand the structure behind it and then I wanna try to rebuild it on my own. I'm gonna use a very structural approach, so the classic circle, line down the middle, etc. And the reason for that is I want to have an approach that I can reuse when I'm drawing from imagination. The reason why I do this is because I always start from the assumption that I don't really know how to do anything. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna study people who are really good at it and then I'm gonna try to reapply what I have learned to my drawings from imagination or from photo reference in case I found something on say Pinterest that I really like. I did the same kind of study for Ruchitanda from Hyoka. Something that I really like about her design which I didn't like about Silica is how the eyes are rounder. The only problem is that they're way too too big and I want to change that so I'm going to make the eyes in my own style somewhere in between a realistic size and this blown out gigantic eye style of manga. The last key thing that I wanted to focus on with this study is hair and the way it's designed in anime and manga so for me something that's very difficult to do is achieve this balance of big, small and medium shapes that they tend to have. So I need to develop a sense for when and where to simplify and put lines in order to create a sense of interest. So now we're gonna see how I took all of that and I applied it to my own work from imagination and from photo reference. The first few attempts were pretty terrible and this is completely normal. The most important thing when something like that happens is to try your best to analyze them, try to understand why they look bad, what is it that you need to work on, like is it the, the shape of the face, is it the angles, that make up the, the basic face structure? Is it the hair? Is it the size of the eyes? Is it the placement of the features? Ask yourself these questions and try to make notes as to what you can improve. Look back at the studies that you've done before and see where you're falling short. The more you do this, the better your next drawings will be. So at this point, having learned from the previous mistakes, I grabbed some references of some models from Pinterest and I started drawing my own versions in this new style. This is one of the attempts that I like the most. I really like the gesture of it. I like how her head is slightly tilted. I like how her hair has some movement to it. The only thing that I didn't like so much in this one was just the size of the eyes. They're a bit too big for my personal preference but it's something that I will fix in the next uh, designs. So after a few more or less successful attempts from photo reference, I decided to have a go at imagination and I came up with this one. I really like it. I think it's the best one so far. I like the hair, I like the eyes. I like, I really like everything about it. At this point, I'm sort of also changing the way in which I draw the face. Before it was more like coming down vertically and then you had the jawline. Now it's more, I don't know, like tilted. And I just like that a lot more. It, it makes the face a little bit thinner and just, I don't know, it looks better to me. So at this point, we're halfway through the week. I'm really happy with how things are going and I've decided to move on to doing some guys for tomorrow. I started day four with another study. I always try to start my day with one study and then move on to practice. And this time, what I liked the most from this was how the hand was used to help convey the character's emotion. You see him with his hand like this, it really gives you that feeling of him being bored. And it's just really interesting because I, like most people, have a lot of issues drawing hands, so I, I tend to hide them. But now I understand how important it is to have them. After the study, I decided to do some practice from reference, and I was pretty happy with it. I like how the eyes of this guy is looking to the side. I like that. I think it gives some kind of interesting feel to the, to the drawings. Not too happy with the one that I did after, but anyway, at this point, I was like really happy, but then it all went south and everything just got incredibly worse. 
Something that you do not see with these recordings from Procreate is just how much I flip the canvas horizontally back and forth. And you normally do this to catch mistakes. The problem is that if you flip the canvas too much when working from a front view, you risk becoming very obsessed with symmetry and suddenly that eye is too high, that other eye is too low, the nose is not quite right, the mouth is crooked. Like you start really worrying about these things when in reality nobody who will look at your drawing will care that much about like as long as it looks good overall it's okay if it's a bit off and nobody cares <laughs> i think this was the lowest point of the week the moment i started drawing lines making them straight using procreate just to find the exact uh, placement of the features is sort of when everything became extremely stiff and this is one of the biggest learnings that i will take on to week two and it's the importance of having a gesture to make your character feel more natural as opposed to feeling really stiff which is what started happening more and more as i was approaching the the last few drawings of the week so at this point the week is somewhat over i did a few more designs i'm less and less happy with the outcomes of the last few ones like i said just the obsession with symmetry made everything very stiff i felt like i was getting to a point where the only difference between one character and the other was the hairstyle and that was terrible so i went back to one of the girls that i drew at the beginning of the week and decided to paint her to have something somewhat finished to show for this first week I'm planning to have a week on coloring in the future because I feel like I'm nowhere near where I want to be. But I still wanted to have a go and see where I was at. What I particularly didn't like about this one is just the transition between say the white of the eye and the skin tone as well as the way in which I painted the hair. And in general, I think the skin in itself, also the blushes just could have been a bit better. Anyway, I'm happy with how it came out. I think it looks good and Overall, the week went well. The two biggest learnings that I want to bring with me into week two are number one, don't obsess too much with symmetry, with having everything looking perfect because we're not, even in real life, people don't care and it just wastes a lot of your time and your energy when you could be moving on to the next piece and learning some more. So that's the first thing. The second one is just using gesture and expressions to convey the personality of your character as opposed to just having that one standard expression. It's pointless to do that. Try to convey some emotion in your work. So that's it from me for this first week. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you again in week two. Bye everyone.